Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write an electron configuration. Here's the kind of question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. Write the electron configuration for an arsenic atom. An electron configuration shows the number of electrons in each sublevel. The sublevels are represented by a letter. There's the S sublevel, that can hold a maximum of two electrons. The P sublevel, that can hold a maximum of six electrons. The D sublevel, that can hold a maximum of 10 electrons and the F sublevel that can hold a maximum of 14 electrons. These sublevels are in larger principal energy levels. We show the principal energy level with a whole number integer in front of the sublevel letter. Finally, the number of electrons in that sublevel is represented by a superscript number. So on the first principal energy level, there is only an S sublevel. On the second principal energy level, there is an S and a P sublevel. On the third, there is an S, P, and D. And on the fourth, there is an S, P, D, and F. We could keep going, but for this question, we only need to go to the fourth principal energy level. Now we have to fill the sublevels in the correct order. There's an interesting tool to remember the proper order. Draw arrows at 45 degrees through our grid that we made, and then we just follow the arrows, and that will give us the correct order to fill the sublevels. This is referred to as off boss principle. Now we are ready to write the electron configuration for arsenic. Arsenic has 33 electrons. We know that because its atomic number is 33. Let's start at the first arrow. That'll tell us the first sublevel is the 1s. So I will write 1s. Remember that an s sublevel can hold a maximum of two electrons. So I'll write the superscript 2. That accounts for two of the 33 electrons. There are 31 more to go. Follow the next arrow, and we see that the next sublevel is the 2s. Although this is an s sublevel in the second principal energy level, it's still an s sublevel and can hold a maximum of two electrons. So I will write the superscript 2. Follow the next arrow, and I'll need to write 2p. A p sublevel can hold a maximum of six electrons. And then 3s, that's another s sublevel, so that's two electrons again. So far, I've accounted for 12 electrons. I still need to show 21 more. So the next arrow, we get the 3p. That's six electrons. Then the 4s, that's two electrons. Then the 3d, that's a d sublevel, and it can hold 10 electrons. We're up to 30 electrons, so just three more to go. The next sublevel is the 4p. A p sublevel can hold a maximum of six electrons, but we're only gonna write a three because we have three electrons left for arsenic. Just to check that we got it correct, when we add up all the superscripts, it comes out to 33, which matches the atomic number for arsenic. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.